What's going on? My name is Justin Xavier, and this is Questions on the Red Couch. All right. What's the greatest sample of all time? Jesus. You can't ask me questions like this, man. There's so many. I can't even tell you. When you ask sample, like the original song or like just the song that has the sample in it? Okay. One I could think of off the top of my head because it's so addicting to me is uh, One Beer, MF Doom. That sample is incredible and it never gets old for me. Let me see. I'm definitely going with that one. Whew. What's your best and worst memory from tour? My best memory from tour had to be my LA show because that's where I think most of my supporters came out to see me. And it was a really big turnout and everybody in the front was like singing my songs. My youngest supporter was like 12. Bro convinced his mom to come. He knew every song word for word, kind of concerning. Um, and yeah, it was it was really cool. Shout out Caden. That's the guy, that's the 12-year-old. He was, he was great, man. Shout out Caden. You would go. And then my worst memory, uh, I survived for a week off $4 because we were all so broke on tour, but it was so worth it. Because it was DIY. It was like, do it yourself. We didn't have nobody compensating. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was crazy. I think just the... Oh! My worst memory on tour, um, when we were driving to LA from Phoenix, um, we almost ran out of gas on the highway and it was 110 degrees outside. So we had to shut the AC off and the car died at the pump. And it was also my turn to pump gas and I spent $108 for a full tank. I hate Phoenix. I'm not going to lie. I do not like Arizona for y'all gas price. is $6 a gallon. You guys. Um, what happens if you put your J in the microwave? I get cooked. Or you want me to answer that? Um, I think it activates... What is it? Activate the... You know more, right? What does it do? It activates the the bud inside the inside the roll. And it gets you more cooked. So yeah, I'm cooked. Fucking... Who's an NY artist that deserves more love? There's a lot of them. Do they got to be from there or just based? Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, my boy Sir Amari deserves so much more love. Fucking... Who's another and why there's so many of them? I say Justin. He's hard. That's the guy. Um, Skull, but he's been going crazy. My boy Skull. Um, man, everybody, so many NY artists. I can go on forever. But that's the main I could think of off top. How does your new EP compare to your older music? It doesn't at all. Complete 180. Um, I think the new sound is so much more refreshing and so much more upbeat in terms of the subject matter, the sample choices, the production, the mixing, everything sounds so much more polished, so much more refreshed. So I don't think it compares at all. It's a complete 180, and I think it's for the better because I'm starting to see, I think, better results from what I was dropping beforehand. So definitely that. Who's your dream collab? I got so many, I can't even tell you my dream collab. Um, I might name a couple because I'm indecisive. Uh, as of right now... He's not my dream collab, but he's someone I want to collab with for sure. Uh, Sideshow. Really want to collab with Sideshow. He's tough. Uh, dream collab might be, I'm going to say Tyler or Earl. Definitely want to get a song with Earl. Mavi. Shout out Mavi. Um, man, there's so many. ASAP. Definitely want to get a song with ASAP. I've been dying to get one with him since I was a kid. Yay. There's so many. I could go on forever. Let me see. Is hip hop on the way up? It's on the way up. It's not even on the way down. I don't think, I really don't think it's ever on the way down. It's kind of subjective. Like, I think hip hop's just changed so much throughout the course of the 50 years that it's been here, you know? So it's always going in different directions, but I think we have so many incredible artists that are, you know, really carrying the legacy, like myself and a bunch of other people that I can name off top that are just doing their thing. So I don't think hip hop's on the way down at all. It's definitely on the way up. What do you want your life to look like in five years? Uh, financial freedom. I want to live off this a thousand percent, be in my own crib, have my Rottweiler, uh, you know, and just be able to live freely and say that music pays my bills. So for sure. Yeah. That was the last one. Tough. Tough. I like that segment. Thank you. You like those questions? Yeah. They definitely caught me. I like that. I like the tour question.